The gaming industry is fighting for consumers' attention now more than ever, and so experiential marketing is key to making brands stand out and win. How do you keep things fresh and exciting when you create experiences for gaming brands, considering how quickly things change in the gaming world? Well, I think what's happening is we're seeing that a gaming brand's IP is very elastic, and it's appearing in a lot of different platforms and a lot of unexpected places. So I think that makes it much more interesting. And as they enter on new platforms, in movies, in streaming, TikTok, you're starting to see gaming brands pop up all over the place. And as we can keep it fresh and unexpected and interesting for gamers and for extended audiences now, I think it's becoming much more interesting and much more widespread. I mean, I think a lot of gamers like live, breathe, die their game. So to keep it fresh within experiential, I feel like it's all about the IP. It's all about showing people that they can show up within the universe that they love so much. So we see that kind of as shifting into creating extensions of games IRL for gamers to come in and feel like they're seeing their game in their real reality so that they can actually play it or feel like part of the universe. Gamers are a unique bunch. We're critical and demand authenticity. What are some of the unique challenges you face in engaging a gaming audience through experiential and how do you overcome them to create memorable brand experiences? Gamers want that authenticity. Um, they 100% will call bullshit if you don't know the game. So you have to live and breathe the game as well. You have to get in there. You have to become a fan as well. Fandom and community is so important to gamers. So making sure that you're realizing like, what are all the like little Easter eggs that we can add? What are all those moments that they're really gonna be looking for that they really love about their games? They also really love access and they really love exclusivity. So if we can provide them with insider information, access to developers, to stars that appear in games, they get really, really excited. Being able to preview things for them that's an exclusive is always a great way to attract gamers and keep them interested and know that you care about them as much as you care about the brand. Let's talk esports. Um, it continues to skyrocket in popularity and more and more people are attending tournaments and tuning in virtually. How can experiences help gaming brands tap into their strong fan base community and keep people coming back for more? We recently worked with Riot Games in creating their arena in Berlin. And one of the things that we made sure we did was provide these great moments that are exclusive for folks visiting the arena. Some of the skins for some of the weapons previewed only in the fan zone of the arena. Uh, being able to interact with some of the teams and some of their favorite players in a way that they can't by just simply watching it on streaming. I think that's really capturing a lot of folks' imagination and bringing people into the arenas and keeping them interested in games like Valorant and League of Legends. Given your experience, what trends do you see shaping the future of experiential in the gaming industry? I think we're kind of in a cultural revolution of gaming right now because gaming is overtaking all kinds of entertainment. Um, I mean, you've seen the success of the Fallout TV show that just came out um, and people are being converted into fans, gamers, cosplayers. It really is this kind of uh, seismic shift going on with gaming and culture. And what I get really excited about and I think other gamers are getting excited about are those immersive experiences coming out of it where not only can you play the game, you can live within the kind of universe of the game. Well, one really big trend right now is mobile esports. What's an equal playing field is playing off of your phone. So there's lots and lots of interest. And that's a place that I think is really going to uh, explode. If you could jump into the world of any video game for a day, which would you choose and why? So many of the games that I play are like post-apocalyptic where there's no humans left and that's not a world I actually want to jump into. So I was like, you know what, I want to jump into Animal Crossing because it's like, that's the life I actually want to live um, versus some of the other games I've played before. Jim, what about you? Well, my kids and I have been playing Mario Kart since they were like five years old. So we absolutely would want to play Mario Kart in that world, compete against each other, and my son would kick my ass like he always does. But it would be fun. I would like to think that it's something like really sweet and fun, like Animal Crossing or something like that. But I am so addicted to Valorant that I think I would just need to live in it at least for a day just to see what it's actually like to play the character that I play because she's dashing around, jumping into the air. Um, and it just, yeah, it pulls out the competitive side of me. So I think that's what I would probably have to go with.